In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to restore the traditional menu in Ubuntu Mate 18.04. Now, Ubuntu Mate 18.04, that is the new long-term support uh, that was released on April the 26th, 2018. Now, if you look on my date up here, it's April the 27th. It's at 1.25 in the morning, so I just recently installed it not long ago, and I thought that I need to make this video for those of you that have recently switched from Windows to Ubuntu Mate and was used to the traditional menu so that when you want to app access an application, you're used to going to the Applications menu. If you want to locate something on your computer, you're used to clicking on the Places menu. Or if you want to change some system files or make some system configuration changes, you're used to clicking on the Systems menu. And if you've upgraded to the newer version of Ubuntu Mate 18.04, you'll notice those menus are no longer up here. Now, I don't know the reason why they changed it from the traditional menu to the new brisk menu. Uh, and they named this new menu Familiar. If you click on it, it, I can understand where they got the term Familiar. It does look very familiar to Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows XP, and Windows 7. However, if you've made that transition from Windows to Linux, I understand there's a huge learning curve because I switched from Windows to Linux myself. And I used a lot of websites to help me understand the differences between Windows and Linux. There's a huge learning curve. And if you just recently upgraded from Ubuntu Mate, the 17.10 to 18.04, and you've never advanced to the intermediate or advanced stages where you can tweak or customize your Linux operating system or change your menu through using the Mate Tweak tool, then this can be intimidating thinking, oh my God, here's another uh, menu change just like it did from Windows 7 to Windows, Windows 8 where it completely disappeared then it came back with tiles and advertisements in it so I don't want to discourage you thinking oh my goodness here's major changes I'm gonna go back to Windows which I'm familiar with or at least that I can grow to become familiar with because more people around uh, me and my family can help me learn uh, the differences from Windows 10 back from Windows 7 don't think like that. Windows, the traditional menu, is still within Ubuntu Mate. You just have to access it. To access it, you click on the menu icon, click on the control center. When you do, the control center will pop up, and you're very familiar with the control center, which is the control panel in your Windows. You scroll down to an icon called the Mate Tweak. And within the Mate Tweak tool, it will allow you to change your, your menu. You can change your desktop, your panel, and your windows. We're only going to change the panel. So click on the icon panel on the left hand side. Now we're only going to focus on the portion at the top. We're not going to change any of these. You can learn those later. Now as you can see the default is set to familiar because as I said early the menu does look familiar to Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows XP, and Windows 7. But if you have recently switched and just started learning Ubuntu Mate, then it's not familiar. The applications, places, and system is more familiar to you. Instead of switching back to Windows 10 again, I'm going to show you how you can go back to the traditional menu. You click on the drop down menu, and as you can see, you've got many options here. And as you become more advanced, and learning Ubuntu Mate, then you can change from this traditional menu, which I'm going to show you, to any of these others. And I'm not going to go through each of these. You can play with this on your own, or you can look at some of the reviews on YouTube to demonstrate some of the other uh, menus that you have options to. This is just to show you how to go back to your traditional menu. Clicking on the traditional menu, you're going to get a pop-up dialog box to confirm that this will change and completely replace uh, your current configuration. You're going to hit OK and a few things take place in the background and within a short time later you can see that you're back to your typical applications menu, your places, and your system which are, you can change the system configuration of your computer. So this is really more familiar like I said if you're just recently switching to Ubuntu Mate yeah, this is what is called the traditional menu. And if you're new to Ubuntu Mate and you're needing help looking up Ubuntu Mate help files or help websites, 
they're going to have more likely the applications, the places, and system. And as you learn more and more about it, they will show you how to customize and change Ubuntu Mate so that you can change the menu and even customize the menu bars and other things. But that's like I said, is more advanced or intermediate users. To get you back to what you were familiar with, like I said, if you just recently installed Ubuntu Mate, this is how you restore the traditional menu. Like I said, you're now back to your applications menus, you're back to your places, you're back to your system files. Now again, if you would like to change this sometime in the future, uh, you don't always have to go to your uh, control center. You can go to preferences, look and feel, and this brings back the tweak tool, allowing you to go back to that same panel and making the changes. Now one thing I will explain before I uh, stop the video is you don't have to click the save as now by changing it back to the default of traditional. It's just if you customize and add icons, like as you can see by the default, you got the Firefox web browser installed on your panel at the top. If you decide to place other applications on this panel, you need to click the save as button and give it a name. So that way when you go and make the changes, when you go back to tradition, it's gonna restore it back to this traditional uh, desktop. It won't have any of the customizations that you made on it. So that's the purpose of the Save As button. So this is now to get your Ubuntu Mate back to your traditional menu. Like I said, uh, this is not a throwback or a diss on Ubuntu Mate. This is to get you back in your comfort zone so you won't get discouraged if you're a new user and go back to Windows or look for another distribution of Linux that has been consistent uh, for a very long time. You know, this hopefully they won't do away with the traditional uh, menu. So that way that new users can always look up how to websites and how to videos and it will apply to this menu. Now, if you ever look up any how to videos and they've changed the menu, that's where I said you can go to your preferences or your control uh, center and go to your look and feel back to the Mate tweet so that you can change it to something that fits your likes when you're more comfortable with understanding where your applications are, where the system files are, and how to locate the files that are on your system. But like I said, this is for new users or anyone that would like to know how to restore the traditional menu. Hopefully this, been, this video has been a uh, benefit and helpful to someone. Uh, have a good one.